this is my second floss tube video actually part one of my second floss tube video um my name is leslie who look for i am the owner and operator of under the sea fabrics um i have a lot to say and it turns out my phone will only record about 15 minutes so i'm gonna kind of break it into two parts because like i said a lot to say um this time because i had a lot going on the last two weeks um, first thing, I, um, went to two retreats, and they were both wonderful. Um, I, of course, acquired stash at both, because who doesn't? It's how it works. Um, we almost go to retreats more to buy stash than we do to actually stitch. Um, I also got to see some friends and meet new people, and I love every part of that. So, the first thing I did was I attended the um, TR retreat here in Cincinnati. I'm in Dayton, um, but Cincinnati's an hour away, and since there are no stitch groups in Dayton, I've joined all the Cincinnati guilds and groups. The one down here, it, we call ourselves the Tiaras because Cincinnati is a queen city, and every good queen has a tiara, um, and we actually wear tiaras to the retreat. Um, I actually, I took fabric to sell, and I did a ton of stitching. Just a ton. Just a ton. Um, for those who remember, or who, um, I started my, um, Salem Remembered, and I got five inches in, five, well, longer than that, but probably about six inches in, and realized that I cut the fabric too short. So I started over. Well, while I was there, I managed to get mostly caught up, um, and now I'm very caught up. I'm all the way down to Sarah Osborne, gotten a ways. This is stitched on Autumn, which will be the November Fabric of the Month for um, Under the Sea Fabrics, and you can see I'm using the Cloud Four Silks, except for the red. The red was discontinued, so that's just something as close as we could find to it. Um, I would like to finish this before my birthday, which is in November, and I'm really close. After Sarah Osborne, I see I've got Sarah's name done, but after Sarah Osborne, I will only have four names to go and then the bottom banner. Um, and then I have to go in and do the border and fill in all the little stars and owls and keys and little motifs that are around the stitching. Um, I'm hoping to finish a good bit of that this weekend. I would love to get through the names this weekend and on to the final banner. Um, while I was at the retreat, oh, I love these. I can't wait to show these to you. Um, I bought this cute little orchard jar. I say I bought this one. I ordered six of them and then I sent her to give to friends for gifts and exchanges and stuff because I will join. You tell me a secret stitcher exchange, I am all in there. Um, so I bought a bunch to give for exchange gifts and stuff like that but then I sent her fabric to make two like this for me. I love this print. I love how tropical and hot and fun it is. I love the orange on the inside. Um, I sent her enough to do two like this. I love these. They're little orc jars, so as you're stitching, you can just kind of pop your threads in there. Um, you can see I kind of got a couple in the bottom there. Um, and then they fold up. folds flat. You can go in your stitch bag. So, if you're like me and you carry stitching around with you everywhere, this is a nice thing to have. And I ordered two. One to be used as an ort jar, but also it's just the right size to put a bottle of water or a cup or something. I don't want to call it a koozie, but to keep it from condensating all over your table. Um, the second retreat I went to was so much fun. Um, it was the Cross Stitch Club retreat in Hershey, Pennsylvania. It was um, put on by a group on Facebook called Cross Stitch Club and it was just a blast. It was, 
I got to spend all weekend hanging out with my friends Julie and Caitlin. I got to meet Stephanie from Hand Dye Fabrics from Ste by Stephanie, who it was really wonderful to meet another colleague who kind of understood what was going on and we could sit there and chat and discuss it and or discuss everything and tips and tricks and things that bothered us and air our grievances to someone who understood. It was wonderful. Um, they also did a secret stitcher exchange there. Um, that was fun because you had no idea who your exchange partner was. So everything was done. Um, you just knew their favorite motif to stitch, their um, favorite designer, and their favorite color. So my person was Shelly from Michigan. Shout out to Shelly. She was wonderful. Um, she gave me this cute Kris Kringle kit. It comes with everything you need to stitch it, um, including a musical box that goes in it. And she also sent the little Nantucket basket. I have no idea when I will get to this. It will probably be years, but I think it's adorable, so I will get to it eventually. Um, she gave me this little Michigan coaster or trivet. I will probably use it as a trivet because I could just see my kids or my dogs knocking it off the t side table. Um, I said my favorite designer was Mirabilia and my favorite thing to stitch was Mermaid, so of course she gave me a Mirabilia Mermaid, um, and the treasures to stitch her. Interesting tidbit, I have, um, stitched this one. This was my very first full-size Mirabilia I stitched. I am planning to stitch her again though. I'm doing a conversion on her, so I'm actually really glad to have the chart because I wrote all over my first chart. I was going to have to buy it anyway. Um, she also gave me two pieces of fabric. One is Highland Heather on Jovelin from Stephanie and Thornhaven from Cashel from Stephanie. Um, I have almost no fabric stash because I guess I dye it myself every time I need it. So, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of a stash. I'll put it away. It probably won't get used for a while, but it will eventually get used. She also sent me this cute little fob. This is Queen of Cross Stitch. She didn't even know me, but she knew I was the Queen of Cross Stitch. She must have known about my tiara. That's what I think. My only issue with anything she gave me is this little bobbin charm that's on the fob. I'm going to have to rip that sucker off. For those who don't know me, I hate poppins. Hate them. Abhor them. If you wind silk onto a bobbin in my presence, I'm going to have to leave the room. It's been known to happen. I just don't like it. So, um, also at this retreat, I got to meet three very talented designers. Um, Jean Farish, Ursula Michaels, and Joan Elliott. Um, it was neat to see Joan Elliott. We, um, I recently participated in a um, quilt. We were doing a thank you gift for her where everybody stitched a block for her for a quilt. And I stitched the little peacock from her, her face's stitch along. Um, I, had, I bought this chart. I've actually got it done about right there, but my chart went MIA when I moved. So it's nice to have it again. You can see I had her sign it. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I was in a room with my friend Julie and my friend Caitlin. And so we got each other little roommate gifts because that's how we work. Um, Julie gave me, because she knows I've been wanting it, a Tropical Garden Sampler from Victoria Sampler with the threads, the thread pack. Um, I think I'm really going to enjoy this. I like stitching band samplers. The only thing that scares me are these flowers right here because they're ribbon embroidery. I think I'm going to have to watch some YouTube videos. I believe the uh, also has, um, has, the adult has um, videos on her website. So I'm sure it won't be an issue. I'll just have to practice a little bit. Um, my friend Caitlin gave me the Haunted House, Gingerbread Haunted House, from Victoria Sampler, and all the goodies to stitch it with, all the silks and pearl cottons and buttons and stuff. 
this looks like it will be super quick to stitch but I am unabashedly terrified of the finishing so um, I have a couple of the other gingerbread village I want to do them all I especially love the little needle workshop um, so and those look a little bit easier than this one does, so I might start with those. Also, I'm going to have to dye this purple fabric. My brown sugar will work for the gingerbread part, but I have to dye this purple, and I haven't really thought that out in my head yet. So, this probably will be a year or two before I get it started. Caitlin also gave me this adorable little mermaid bag. I love this guy listening to the ocean. I don't know why he cracks me up, but he does. And Julie gave me this little postcard. I've got a couple of these that I want to stitch. Um, all the C ones, I guess. Um, and so, I really like that. So, that is the end of this video. I will do another one, probably right after this, and upload them both at the same time. Um, with my stackquisitions. And I have a little finish slash whip, which I would kind of have to explain to you in the next video. So thank you for watching.